I challenge anybody in your audience to walk into Johnny Depp's shoes at 25 years old with all the money, women, drugs, alcohol, the LA thing. Talk to me in five years and tell me how, how substantial you are. I'm here in beautiful Fairfax, Virginia at the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial for this week's episode of Excuse Me What. It's, it's gonna be a good one. I'm here for Johnny. How's the trial been so far? Nerve wracking. Yes, very nerve wracking. Very. There was an well, Amber Heard fan yeah. next to us. Yeah. Hey. Who yeah. hit her in the face with her, yeah. her poster. What was it like getting hit in the face with a poster? Well, I didn't think it was intentional. I was about to rip that shit up. She right. had her megaphone on really, really loud. You couldn't even hear the music that was playing, the words, the nothing. Um, it was hurting my ears, and um, that's abuse, elder abuse, so please, please turn it down. If you're here trying to stand up for abuse, Don't she was being it. a hypocrite. It's just rude. It was very I rude. mean, you, you guys see right through her. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Definitely. Her <laughs> acting coach said she couldn't even cry on cue. What I mean, did, and she's about? trying to cry. She is such a bad actor. Like, the only reason she got Aquaman was because of Johnny. Yeah, or it was a poorly written plot. No, I don't think so. I think she's just a horrible actor. I didn't even know who she was until the trial. I, I didn't I even know she played in Aquaman. Oh. I had no idea who she was. Right. Where do you stand? Well, as a journalist, I'm neutral. Why do you love Johnny? He's an idol, man. I mean, I've grown up with him. Uh, a lot of the movies that I've watched have had him in it. Uh, he's an icon, man. We're about to go smoke with Johnny Depp after this big blunts, man. Andrea Diaz, what brought you here? We're supporting Johnny Depp. And what inspired you to bring your alpaca? Well, I do bring them everywhere with me, so I thought it would be funny to bring them here, too. What do you mean by everywhere? I work with these guys. They're adorable, and they're so soft. Did you dress them up for Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. Vibe. When did you first get into Johnny Depp? Oh, since I can remember. Yeah, when I was in high school, I used to do projects of the rooms of the movies that he made with Tim Burton. Hello. Which which one is this guy? If you could say anything to Johnny Depp, what would you tell him? <laughs> True. Christina Taft. My name is Daniel. What is the social media team? Rescue Social Tech is our project. Uh, we're here to support Amber Heard and to try to get her heard above the crowds. And it's just really disgusting to see um, how it became such a huge influence operation where you're seeing it on TV on CNN next to war. It's so automated that, you know, you see Elon Musk buying Twitter. Does that have to do with Amber Heard? Well, probably. Yeah. You think he partially bought Twitter because of Amber Heard? I think that's a big part of it, yeah. As soon as he bought it, I noticed there was an immediate shift in um, the way that the algorithm was working, which she openly admits to changing. Things are more on her side. I mean, obviously not in contrast to the Johnny Depp box, but there definitely was a significant shift in support for Amber Heard. She had a lot of support, especially, say, 2018, 2017, even before then, and it's just all destroyed now. Where do you buy bots to do your bidding? I can't say, but there are a lot of places. If you Google, you can find third-party companies. I actually used to sell social media followers door-to-door uh, -door in Beverly Hills. Kind of like a wolf on Wall Street, but with Twitter. Door-to-door? -door? Yeah, I'd go to companies and I would just upsell. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I would upsell. There's so much you know, information about this domestic abuse case, and usually it isn't like that. Most countries like don't have coercive control like against the law. Like Usually women are hidden and everything. I'm totally against that culture as well. Like I'm more into um, trying to get people to do community aid or to try to get men to support women as well. It's also Hollywood fixer and Paul Barisi. Like, like, and you know, Radar Online like, is connected oh, to American so Media Inc. We so actually have our answers for the cross-examination, like uh, possibly uh, Marty singer and Figures. this Richard yeah, Albertini Rose McGowan so that really the Russian element is like a political death yeah. trap so it's really weird. What was your inspiration behind the sign? We all love Johnny Depp <laughs> and like all the movies that he's been in that we love and then obviously Justice for Johnny. I'm a big fan too. I actually have him tattooed on my arm. Edward Scissorhands? Yeah. So you have Johnny and Winona Ryder. Yeah, the best couple there is, not Johnny and Amber Heard. We were actually just inside the courthouse. How did you guys get in? We just walked in. So the everyone, everybody you, can walk in. Everyone can just walk in? No, yeah. they kicked us out, though, because we didn't have yeah. wristbands. That's not fair that she gets to act like she's a domestic abuse survivor and then lie about half the stuff she's been abused about. Yeah, especially people that actually go through that. That's just wrong it on them. It's harder for other people to come out about it. Yeah, lying about donating charity, that's just fucked. I didn't she was going to come here like that. I didn't see she Amber come way back here. I don't see Amber coming to way back to you, girl. Right, because she don't care about you. 
Hey, my name is Sherry Pegram, S-H-E-R-I. Don't misspell it. I just graduated school yesterday. Congratulations. Thanks so much, guys, and I'm just happy to be here. I've already got to meet Dr. Curry. Now I'm on my way to meet Mr. Johnny Depp. Have you been following the trial a lot? Oh, yeah, and it's bad. You know, when you're a victim of domestic violence and you see these type of things, it kind of puts a hurting on us, you know? What parts of the trial have you have you seen that has resonated with you the most? The companion that Mr. Depp has for his fans. He's going through a lot of stress right now, trying to basically clear his name off, off of these false allegations, and he still takes the time to wave at his fans. Yeah make waffles for us. Did you get any of those waffles? No, I didn't get any of the waffles. I don't know that's if it's okay. true. Bruh. Oh. But that's what I saw online. I see, do you have a favorite Johnny Depp movie? Edward Scissorhand. He's one of the greatest actors we've ever had, period. And you can really get lost in the movies by seeing him develop his whole, like, his mentality, physically how he looks. He makes you forget that he is Johnny Depp, so. There's no way for us to know uh, is the unfortunate thing. All we can do is just kind of listen to what sources we have and form our own opinions and just kind of go from there. Sydney, why are you here? I think it would be cool to see Johnny. Are you a big fan? Yes. They told me last night that it was here, so I didn't really know until then. Do you think if there wasn't a crowd here, would you still be here? Probably. And what did you expect coming here? Nothing. You had no idea what this was going to be? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and can you do a Captain Jack Sparrow impersonation? No, but I can do a run really well. Everyone makes space. Six out of ten, too trotty. People are not getting the actual details. I saw so many women, so-called feminists, supporting Depp. I do not believe that one should automatically believe all women. I'm not a supporter of Me Too. This is about the facts in this particular case. He's such a liar, it's hard to pick out his worst lies. I don't find him convincing on the stand. I don't find him charismatic. He references having chopped off his finger in a private conversation to her. We've been perfect. All I had to do was send the monster away and lock him up. I have locked my monster child away in a cage deep within, and it has fucking worked. I believe Johnny Depp when he calls himself a savage, head-butting, woman-pounding, flesh-hacking monster of a man who wants women dead. If this were an act of chivalry on his part where he's just protecting her, why would he reference it within a private conversation? It was disgusting, one of his security entail, to Amber Heard before she ever fought back. She's actually accountable for her own behavior. I'm not going to say he's, he has narcissistic personality disorder, but he definitely evinces those traits. And the facts are overwhelmingly in her favor. Captain Jack, what made you uh, dress up today? I want to wave to Johnny Depp. I want him to wave to me. Have you been following the trial much? No, I follow it, yeah. Like, like it comes up on my TikTok sometimes, or I'll like look up articles, but... Did you come to support Johnny or your friend? Johnny. <laughs> What's your favorite Johnny Depp movie? I don't know. I don't watch movies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what makes you think that he's innocent? Um, I don't know. Ain't no fucking I... way, boy. Hi, uh, who am I here with? Aaron and Dawn. Uh, and have you guys been following the trial? Um, like on TikTok and stuff, yeah. yeah. And what have you thought about it so far? We're definitely like, you know, on Johnny Depp's side. Can I see what you wanted him to sign? Yeah, it's a um, Lana Del Rey poetry book. Lana Del Rey, are you a big Lana fan? Oh my gosh. You have a Lana Del Rey book? Yes. And what's your favorite Johnny Depp movie? Sweeney Todd. Big Tim Burton fan? Yes, I love all his movies. How do you feel about Coraline? I liked Coraline, but um, I think my favorite was Corpse Bride. What about the trial can convince you to uh, support Johnny? I've been researching this for five years. What's the courtroom like? It's a little different than the live stream because you can see like everybody at the same time. How is the jur jury reacting? They seem to be very much on Johnny's side. Is there a discrepancy in the skill of lawyers representing both clients? I'm not an expert on like lawyers, but from this it's pretty easy to tell that like Johnny's lawyers seem to be much more on it and much more on top of what they're doing, whereas Amber's lawyers are just asking like the most random questions that just don't really prove anything at all. Well, my name's Paul Royce Cook. They call me the Sound Pig. I'm an engineer. Uh, also, the Motley Patriot. How'd you get your nicknames? Now, I've been in music and arts my whole life. Why are you here at this trial? Well, I've been following uh, the uh, Legal Bites. They're basically live streaming the show. Oh! Well, I say show quite literally. Can I hold one of those? I'm a big long form uh, uh, YouTube follower. And this popped up, and I started sort of binge watching uh, live streaming 
the courthouse. It started to synergize this whole ecosystem where everybody's consuming primary source information and forming their own opinions. I think this is a bellwether for the judicial system to be more transparent. Now it's all about, oh, this Me Too being linked to funding. In England, the judge dismissed certain pieces of evidence that were sort of bad for, for Amber. But now as things are playing out, everyone's going, well, we don't understand how Johnny Depp could have ever lost. The legal process is not fair, it's a process. Justice doesn't always will out, but hopefully this time it will. Is there anything you think that the mainstream media is missing? I don't think they give their people on the ground the power to report what they think they see. As you think about, well, is it news or is it narrative? Narratives are easy to sell. Hey, you're a nice looking guy. Hey, I'm a weird guy on the street with a sign. That's a simple thing to well, say. I have a sign now too. Yeah, exactly. So now I've, I've now brought you to the dark side. How do you feel? Great. Awesome. Same here. I think things have become so Kardashian in framework of what news is today. I challenge anybody in your audience to walk into Johnny Depp's shoes at 25 years old with all the money, women, drugs, alcohol, the L.A. thing. Talk to me in five years and tell me how, how substantial you are. Are you here to support Johnny? Absolutely. What made you come all the way out here? Well, my daughter lives here. Are you all big Johnny Depp fans? Yes. And what do you think about the trial so far? I think she is a bad human being. I think he's a winner no matter the verdict. How's the town reacting to this being, being here? I think Johnny has a lot of supporters here. Carrie McAllister, where'd you get that shirt? I had it ordered from Etsy. I've got this one, I got a mega pie, I got one right here. I throw in the car for him to sign it and mail it back to me. And what's your favorite Johnny Depp movie? Oh my God, all of them. Can you do like a Johnny Depp imp impersonation? Oh my God, probably not. <laughs> and if you guys could tell Johnny Depp anything right now, what would you tell him? That I love him so much and to definitely <laughs> stay strong because yeah. I love him. He's so loved by everybody here and that, you know, obviously everybody here doesn't yeah. believe any of the allegations against him. Oh my God, I love you so much. You're the best ever. Don't do drugs, okay? Drugs are bad. Don't ruin your legacy. You can decide 20 years from now that you want to start to try to learn how to behave like a, a human being instead of the monster that you have repeatedly admitted that you are. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Thank you for fighting because it means a lot to fellow survivors. Surround yourself with better people. After this trial, I think it just shows him that people are still here for him. Be who you are. Be you. Go, Johnny, go. <laughs> mm -hmm. The truth is going to come out in the end, and he knows who's on his side. Just keep true to yourself. Obviously, you already know that. This is a bitch. You know, they never prevail. Stand up for what you believe in if you know you're right. And what would you tell Amber Heard? Get help. You are brave, and it doesn't matter how many people know it. Thank you so much, Amber Heard. Oh, my gosh, she's a piece of crap. Try and be a better person. How do you think she can be a better person? I think that she can just work on herself and some of the stuff that she does a little bit better. And you can just kind of tell a lot of the time uh, if people are being genuine or not. Hashtag gold digger, and then it says Aquaman, a.k.a. the movie Johnny Got You. Don't, don't poop in the bed. Stay humble. She's a turd. Move to a deserted island and never show your face again. You know, they did that in Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I have too many words for her. Just fuck, fuck you, her. fuck your family, fuck everybody, everything about you. Not her family. I mean, they raised her, though. They're Team Johnny. Okay, never her mind, not fuck her family. Johnny. How do you know that? It came out in the press in London. That The audios that she's given TikTok are really funny. The best thing that I would recommend is for her to get some type of counseling. I'm not going to badmouth her because yeah. I know she's clearly not in her right state of mind, borderline personality diagnosis. But those type of people need some type of like therapy and counseling. You, you said the nicest thing about her out of everyone I've interviewed. Just because I'm a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Electric. Electric at the Johnny Depp trial in Fairfax, Virginia. So within 15 minutes of Johnny Depp driving by, everyone was gone. It's almost like nobody cared other than the ability to see Johnny. It just feels like if they're actually upset about this or like truly perturbed by it, they would still be here protesting, trying to do something more about the trial. So that was ridiculous. I think everyone's here more so for the vibes than the actual trial that's going on. People love being mean to each other. This seems closer to Team Edward versus Team Jacob than anything else. Never thought I would come to one of these things, but I'm here now and I'm here for you guys.